This is a 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, and it's the best version of everyone's favorite midsize truck. I say that because even as new midsize pickup trucks come out, this seems to be the gold standard, the one that all of the other midsize trucks are compared against. And the TRD Pro version is especially desirable. Today, I'm going to review this Tacoma and find out why. I've borrowed this Tacoma TRD Pro from Toyota of El Cajon, which is my local Toyota dealership here in the San Diego area. Toyota of El Cajon obviously has all of the new Toyota models, including the Tacoma TRD Pro, which is actually a pretty impressive feat because these things tend to sell so quickly that most Toyota dealers can't keep them in stock for more than a few days. So why exactly is that? Well, I'm gonna start with the basics. Toyota sells two pickup trucks. You have the full-size Tundra, which is fine, to put it charitably, and then you have the Tacoma, which everyone loves. It is the darling of the mid-size pickup truck world. And its success is primarily rooted in its reputation for reliability and durability. The Tacoma is just known as a truck you simply can't kill. And it's had this reputation going back to before it was even called the Tacoma, back when it didn't even have a name at all, and it was just called the Toyota pickup. The latest Tacoma offers two available engines. The base models have a 2.7 liter four cylinder, but the majority of Tacomas and all of the TRD Pro models use a 3.5 liter V6 that makes about 280 horsepower and about 265 pound feet of torque. And the TRD Pro model has a lot of off-roader upgrades over the standard Tacoma, like Fox off-roading suspension and upgraded tires and a one inch lift and a front skid plate. And there are some off-road options you can get too, including some cool ones like a snorkel. Yes, that's right, you can get a factory installed optional snorkel on the Tacoma TRD Pro. And of course, there's more. So today I'm going to take you on a tour of this truck and I'm going to show you all of the quirks and features of the best version of the latest Toyota Tacoma. Then I'm gonna get it out on the road and drive it and then I'm going to give it a Doug score. And for more of my thoughts on the Tacoma TRD Pro, click the link below to visit autotrader.com slash oversteer where I've also rounded up a list of the most expensive pickup trucks currently listed for sale on AutoTrader. All right, I'm going to start the quirks and features of the Tacoma TRD Pro on the inside, where you'll climb in and you'll quickly notice an interesting mashup of old and new in here. For example, this truck has a wireless charging pad. You put your phone on this little pad in the center console, you press this button and it starts charging. You don't even have to plug it in. That's great, very modern, but then it has this manual parking brake lever. To engage, you just pull it up and then it's engaged instead of like an automatic parking brake or a little lever like in a lot of new cars. Another great piece of new technology in here, this truck has adaptive cruise control. So it doesn't just have regular cruise, it'll actually slow down and speed up based on the speed of traffic in front of you, but it has manual seats. So it will automatically slow down and speed up with traffic, but you have to manually adjust the seat yourself Probably not too many cars out there with adaptive crews and manual seats. Another interesting example of this weird mashup of old and new, this truck has a blind spot monitoring system, so it'll let you know if someone's in your blind spot, and a lane departure warning system, so if you start to go over a lane line, it'll let you know. But it also has this really old school gear lever in the middle that you just kind of move through the gears instead of a fancy newfangled electronic shifter like most cars <laughs> that have these safety tech features. And here's another rather unusual one, the dashboard of this truck truck is this old school upright dashboard with big panel gaps, 90 degree angles, and very little like swoopy style that you get in modern cars. But contained in this old fashioned dashboard is a touchscreen infotainment system that will give you a weather forecast. <laughs> which is a little bit strange. Again, a very unusual combination of the old and the new in the Tacoma. So you might be wondering, well, why exactly does Toyota do that? And the answer is the people who buy this truck like 
the simple old stuff. They like the manual parking brake that isn't gonna break. They like the old school shift lever, it's simple. But Toyota is also very well aware that they have to start integrating new technology into this truck. So it has all the latest safety features and that sort of thing, but it still keeps some of its old fashioned parts to keep Tacoma people happy. Now, I would complain about this in a lot of other vehicles, but it suits this one. It suits the character of the vehicle and the character of the people who want to buy it. And so it actually kind of works in the Tacoma. And next we move on to a few other interesting things in this pickup. I want to start with one of my very favorite buttons in this truck, one of my very favorite buttons in the entire car industry. And that would be the button that turns on the bed light in back. It's to the left of the steering wheel. And look at this, it has a little graphic of like a flatbed truck, the kind of truck Toyota was making in the 80s. I bet they've kept this graphic the same for all these years in all sorts of different trucks. And it just looks so charming and cute. It's like a retro button. Now, one thing I don't like over in that area, you can can see that row of buttons is mounted below a coin slot. No one's ever going to use that coin slot, but when you get out of the truck, the row of buttons is so low that you hit your knee on it if you're tall like me, and I really don't like that placement. Just get rid of the damn coin slot and move up the buttons so this isn't an issue. And speaking of buttons that relate to the bed, another rather interesting one is in the center control stack here. There is a little button for the rear window between the passenger cabin and the bed. You push it and then that rear window automatically slides open. Now, one thing I like about this button is the fact that it has a little hat on it. I guess so you don't push it accidentally and open that rear window when you weren't meaning to. And another interesting button in that center control stack to the left of the rear window button, you have a button marked ECT power. Toyota has been putting this button into its vehicles for like 20 years and nobody has any idea what it actually means or does. I've talked to a million Toyota owners. They're like, oh yeah, my ECT power button. I don't know what that is. It turns out that it changes the shift points a little bit. If you press it, it allows you to access higher RPMs for a little bit better acceleration. I guess if you ever find yourself in a police chase or maybe climbing a mountain, you press your ECT power button for a little better responsiveness and a little better acceleration from your Toyota. And speaking of the transmission, like I mentioned, this truck has this old school transmission lever that you kind of move through this little gated gear area. And when you do that, it actually pops up a graphic in the gauge cluster that shows all the gears you're going to. So you don't have to check the transmission lever area to see what gear you're in, which is nice and convenient. Next up, another interesting item in the TR. RD Pro is in the overhead console next to the rear view mirror, you have a couple of off-roading controls. There is a button marked MTS, that's the multi-terrain select button. If you push that, you can choose between various different terrains and the truck will optimize itself for them. You also have the button to turn on the differential locker and you have a button marked crawl for crawl control, which is sort of like an off-roading cruise control system that's on these TRD Pro trucks to make them more capable when you're off-roading. Now, I filmed a video where I off-roaded a Toyota Land Cruiser that had these features, and I kind of demonstrated how some of them worked. I will link it in the description below so you can check it out. Now, next up, moving on to some of the screens in the TRD Pro, I'm gonna start with the gauge cluster screen. And again, this is sort of a mashup of old and new. You have old school traditional gauges, then in the middle, you have a full color LCD screen. And that screen does all your typical stuff. It shows your speed, your fuel economy, that sort of thing. But it also can show your pitch and roll, which can be useful when you're off-roading, showing like exactly what angle your truck is currently positioned at. That's a good feature. And next up, moving on to the infotainment system. I've covered this infotainment system in various other Toyota models, so I'll keep this brief, but there are a couple of quirks worth mentioning. One is the fact that when you're on the screen for all the infotainment apps, there's a button marked reorder. You can press that and then you can move around the apps to exactly the position you want in case, for instance, you don't want to see that phone app anymore you can simply get rid of it. Another feature I like in this infotainment system, it allows you to customize the startup image. Right now, if you turn on the truck, the Toyota logo appears, but you can upload your own personal startup image if you wanna see something different show up when you turn on the car and the infotainment system boots up, which is interesting. And another interesting item in this infotainment system, I've showed it in a few other Toyotas, but I love the fact that you can train the voice recognition system to understand your voice and how you speak. I'll demonstrate that for you right now. Please say the following. Reserve a table at 8 p.m. for four people at Horseback Steakhouse. 
Tyler Hoover is a crazy person from Kansas. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. Please say the following. And next we move on to the back seat of the Tacoma where there are a couple of interesting items back here. Starting with the fact that underneath the seat you have a storage compartment. You lift up the seat on the driver's side and you can see there's a little hidden storage compartment back here, which is nice because obviously you have a pickup truck bed. You can't really put anything back there. It could get stolen or rained on. So if you have something small you want to keep out of the way, you can put it under here. And it's the same deal on the passenger side. You lift up the seat bottom, which is a little larger than the driver's side, and you have a storage compartment where, again, you can put stuff if you want to make sure it doesn't get stolen or keep it out of the elements. Now, speaking of rear storage, the Tacoma also has another interesting thing. If you fold the rear seat forward on the driver's side, there's actually storage behind the rear seat, which is very unusual in a full four-door pickup truck like this. Usually, there's no storage at all behind the seats. They go right up to the window, but in this case, there is. Unfortunately, that doesn't work over on the passenger side. You can fold the passenger seats forward, but you can see in this truck, there's actually stereo equipment there. There's a speaker, so there aren't two storage compartments behind the seats, but one is better than you get in most trucks. Now, other than that, the back seats in this truck are pretty boring. Nothing especially noteworthy back here, but I do like the fact that the cup holders in the middle specifically say capped bottles only. And what happens if you put a bottle in there that isn't capped? And next up, moving on to the outside of the TRD Pro, I want to start by talking about some of the upgrades that this truck has over a standard Tacoma. There are quite a few of them. The most striking is, of course, the color. This is called Voodoo Blue, and it is... Well, it's special. It certainly isn't for everyone. Although it's worth noting that generally speaking, the TRD Pro Toyotas in weird colors tend to retain their value a little bit better than the ones in normal colors. On the used market, people seem to want the weird colored ones. So if you're gonna get one of these, consider Voodoo Blue. Now, the other upgrades over the standard Tacoma are also pretty noticeable. I'm gonna start in back where you have a TRD exhaust in this truck, which kind of livens up the sound of this engine, which isn't really a truck powertrain, but with that exhaust, it sounds pretty trucky and kind of muscular. But of course, the upgrades go well beyond that. You also have special wheels and off-road or tires that give the TRD Pro model more capability than the standard Tacoma. And if you look inside, the wheel well area, you can see the suspension, this Fox off-roader suspension, which again improves the capability. And you have an additional inch of ground clearance with that suspension system if you get the TRD Pro model for avoiding off-roading obstacles. Now, beyond that, another difference of the TRD Pro model compared to the regular Tacoma is badging. One very noticeable badge is right here on the door. You can see it says TRD Pro, and it looks really tough and aggressive and muscular. My favorite badge is actually up front. I love that it has the old school like Toyota font in the grill. Instead of Toyota's like boring emblem that they use on most cars, they have this cool old school look. They brought it back for some of these off-roader special models and I just think that looks fantastic. I also love the fact that they've integrated that Toyota font into the tailgate on the tailgate handle. You can see it says Toyota there and that looks pretty cool. It doesn't say Toyota across the entire tailgate like it used to do on old Toyota trucks but this is pretty good nonetheless. And speaking of the bed, putting down the tailgate and accessing the bed, you can see that the bed in this truck is just a fairly standard truck bed, nothing particularly exciting or interesting back here. One noteworthy item is the fact that older Tacoma models used to have a little storage compartment on the driver's side where you could put stuff like a tow strap or other off-roading gear, and they've eliminated that. There's still a small one over on the passenger side next to this power outlet, but it's really small. You can't really put anything sizable in it. I'm not really sure why they got rid of the one on the driver's side, since it seems like it would be easy to just stick it back in there, but for some reason they did, which is a complaint of some Tacoma owners. And finally, we move under the hood and you can see the engine. Like I mentioned before, it's a 3.5 liter V6, with about 280 horsepower and about 265 pound-feet of torque. Now, Toyota's other really popular TRD Pro model, the 4Runner TRD Pro, I've already reviewed that and I'll link it in the description below. That uses a 4 liter V6 with about the same power output. And the Tacoma used to have a 4 liter V6 
as well, but in the days of increasing fuel economy efficiency emission standards, that engine, I guess, was not deemed suitable anymore. So when the Tacoma was recently updated, Toyota switched to the 3.5. Rumor has it the 4Runner will also make that switch the next time it's updated. That is just the way of the future. And so those are the quirks and features of the 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Now it's time to get it out on the road and see how it drives. All right, driving the Tacoma TRD Pro. Now I wanna say, in terms of styling, I love how these things look. They still have a very old school style to them in the sense that they're not too like over design it's almost like they look good because no one has ever tried to make them look good there's still kind of an evolution of those old 90s toyota trucks just on a newer level and so many automakers are doing so many things to make cars look interesting weird different whatever and this thing looks different just because it's simple and it's cool and i just love that now when you start getting up and accelerating the exhaust in the truck actually sounds pretty good um I like the sound of it, and I think Toyota does that to compensate for the fact that this motor isn't really suited for this vehicle. Um, the 3.5 V6 is great, uh, they use it in a lot of cars, they've adapted it for the Tacoma. And it works, and it's fine, and it's even fine for towing, but like for a bulky, off-roader, angry, it doesn't really feel like it has the brawn kind of to keep up. And the 4 liter in the 4Runner and previous Tacomas, it had a little bit more low-end torque and it felt just a little bit stronger. What I would love to see is kind of a Raptor version of this, like a Tacoma TRD Pro Raptor with like a supercharger or a V8, it's never gonna happen, but something like that to really sell it. And I think the sales of just this version, which is sort of a Tacoma that's lightly improved but if you really went all out I think the sales of this one prove that that would also be a success and I wish they would do something like that the one benefit though of the engine is that it makes this truck feel surprisingly civilized it's relatively quiet aside from the exhaust you don't hear much engine noise um, and the truck itself with updates and stuff over the years is actually surprisingly docile and I don't mind uh, driving it and it doesn't feel like a chore like some trucks my old Land Rover is like a nightmare but this feels a lot more comfortable and, and like a rational vehicle I also happen to think, personally, that they've chosen the right things to go high-tech on versus keep low-tech. I don't need a high-tech parking brake. I don't need a high-tech gear lever or I like power seats, but you get the idea. Um, but I like blind spot monitoring. I mean, that's helpful. It really, really is. A a automatic parking brake is not really all that helpful. It's just a gimmick. Same with the transmission lever. I don't need an electronic gear lever. Um, but I do like the idea of having uh, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning. And if I had to pick between all the stuff I wanted to be high tech, I would take those tech safety features, which actually may help stop me from crashing, and I would give up stuff like a automated parking brake and things that I don't think I really need and just add complication. The driving position in this truck is surprisingly good. This is not a full-size pickup, obviously. It's a mid-size truck. Um, but it sits real high. I'm behind a Cadillac XT5, which is a mid-size crossover, about the size of uh, like a Mercedes GLC, and this thing towers over it, even though it's just a mid-size truck. Obviously, these have gotten bigger over the years. The one-inch lift helps things too. Uh, but that is kind of a cool thing. And so that's the 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. This truck may be old fashioned, but it's what people want based on sales figures and transaction prices and resale values, which are famously high. After spending the day with this truck, I can see why it's so desirable. It's tough, it's cool, it's pretty practical, it's good looking, and it will never leave you stranded. And with that in mind, time to give the TRD Pro a Doug score. Starting with the weekend categories and styling, the Tacoma TRD Pro looks really good and really cool, and it gets a 6 out of 10. Acceleration, it's quick enough for a mid-sized truck with a 0-60 to 60 time of around 7.5 seconds, but that gives it a 1 out of 10. Handling is merely average, and it gets a 3 out of 10. Fun factor is higher than normal. It has off-roader capabilities, and so that's exciting, although otherwise it's not especially thrilling or fun, and it gets a 4 out of 10. 
Finally, Cool Factor, and these are really cool right now. It gets a 5 out of 10 for a total weekend score of 19 out of 50. Next up are the daily categories and features. This truck has some good new tech, but also some old school features too, so it goes right in the middle with a 5 out of 10. Comfort is average, and it gets a 5 out of 10. Quality is high, the interior is fine, but that's not where this truck shines. The real quality is in its amazing reputation for durability, and it gets a 7 out of 10. Practicality is fine, normal for the class, and it gets a 6 out of 10. Finally, value, and this is a tough one to assess. This truck is around 50 grand, and that number for a mid-sized truck is just ridiculous, but it also retains value insanely well. So even if you spend big money to buy this truck, you won't lose big money on it, meaning it easily earns a 7 out of 10 for a total daily score of 30 out of 50. Add it up, and the Doug score is 49 out of 100, which places it here against some other trucks, including some full-size trucks, just for comparison purposes. The Tacoma beats all the mid-size rivals, including mm -hmm. the new Chevy Colorado ZR2. I like the ZR2 a lot, and I thought it was the best small truck when I drove it a year ago, but the Tacoma has brought me back into its fold. If you're buying a mid-size truck, this is still the gold standard.